the parietal bone the superior border is serrated and it is marked internally by superior serrated sinus anterior inferior angle is pointed acute and it is directed uh, downward and medially the posterior inferior angle is and it has a groove for middle meningeal artery the posterior inferior angle is uh, sigmoid sinus <coughs> now ha huh, the superior surface articulates with the adjacent uh, the morphological point, parts of uh, parietal bone is uh, it consists of four border four angles and two surfaces external surface internal surface four border is superior superior border inferior border anterior border posterior border uh, and the angles are antero superior angle antero inferior angle posterior superior angle posterior interior angle inferior angle <coughs> now uh, the attachment the superior surface now the borders the superior border is attached with the adjacent parietal bone and it forms the uh, sigmoid suture and it forms the sagittal sutures the anterior border is attached with the posterior surface of the frontal bone and it forms the uh, coronal suture the posterior surface is attached with the anterior part of the occipital bone and it forms the corona bata and it forms the lambdoid suture now the inferior border has got three part the anterior part is attached with the greater wing of the sphenoid bone the middle part is attached with the squamous part of the temporal bone and the posterior part is attached with the mastoid process of the temporal bone and this forms a suture known as the limbus suture now the uh, internal surface has uh, the, these vessels uh, the antero inferior angle has middle meningeal artery the posterior inferior angle has the uh, sigmoid sigmoid uh, sinus sigmoid sinus and the uh, superior border has the groove for Uh, uh, sinus. Okay. There is a of, uh, tuber, which is known as the parietal tuber. It has got some important point. The ossification starts from this point and as a it proceeds as a bony spicule formation. Then it uh, the intraparietal distance is maximum and it forms a bony landmark in surface anatomy. Now, uh, inferior and left to this. tuber there is the uh, broadman area number 20 and the wernick area wernick area now there are two uh, lines superior temporal line and inferior temporal line superior temporal line loses the supi, uh, temporalis fascia and inferior temporal line uh, loses the temporalis muscle